Today we're having a look at the brand new Raymarine Element. It's running a new operating system from Raymarine called Lighthouse Sport. And today I'm going to have a look at the Navionics charts in the unit and some of the functions and how to use them. So the unit is button controlled. Uh, on the right hand side here you can see the uh, arrows for moving around the menus, OK button, Home button and Menu button. Um, what we're going to do today is have a look at the Navionics chart functions of this unit. Uh, so to get into that you can see that you just scroll to whatever menu you want and here we can look at the chart by hitting OK and then we move into looking at the Navionics chart. For this uh, demonstration we're using a Navionics Platinum chart so it'll really give a good test of the unit's uh, capabilities. So before we get into the chart details we'll have a quick look at the basic settings. From the menu, uh, you can just go straight down to the settings there. Once you go into there, you can see where you can choose your cartography and you can see we've got Navionics nautical chart and sonar chart. It's also letting us know what the chart is. It's a 62P Platinum, Australia East and North, and also showing when the subscription expires uh, on that chart for the uh, daily update subscription. From here we can go to the setup which will give us the ability to look at different chart details. So we can hit set it between low, medium or high. Uh, chart orientation, the boat icon whether you want it to look like a outboard speedboat or um, power cruiser, rib, kayak, whatever. Then uh, icon types, boat positioning, um, aerial uh, photography there, uh, aerial imagery there uh, to can turn on and off. The coverage for the aerial photography, this being platinum, it has a, a, sat a satellite overlay on land or you can overlay on land and sea. You can turn tides on, you can turn Navionics community edits on or off. Uh, the navigation mark symbols um, and then from there the next menu is your depths. So you can set uh, your shallow area, uh, so whatever you like it to be, deep contours uh, to 50 feet, uh, deep water in white, sonar logging, also this is where you can turn sonar chart live on for creating your own charts in real time, um, density for sonar chart, uh, contour density, you can also set fishing zones here which basically will allow you to highlight a specific range within the chart if you're wanting to target between two depths uh, also here for 2D shading so that all those basic settings for setting your chart up pretty much once you've done it once you don't need to do it again unless you just want to make minor changes uh, so with that the arrow button back will take you to where back to the main menu from here there's a couple of different options for the chart. One is just a simple chart which means when you hit that you lose a lot of your chart detail so it's just very basic uh, markers and not a lot of other detail. So you can see from there that uh, you know you've just got your markers, no contours, no step, uh, depth soundings. So from there if you want to then go to a detailed chart you can then go down to detailed and then you can see you then get the fully detailed chart with contours, spot soundings, all your normal uh, chart uh, symbols and uh, markers. The other mode here is also your uh, fishing mode which is your sonar chart which is your high density bathymetric charts. When we go to that you'll now see 0.5 meter contours and a heck of a lot more detail for uh, really zooming in on um, structure. One thing you notice with this um, unit is, and which is quite astounding, is how quickly it zooms in and out. We're running a platinum chart here, which is running a lot of detail, and you can see how quickly and seamlessly that that scrolls in and out. Also, as you scroll side to side, there's absolutely no lag as a, as the chart redraws. So it does indicate to us that this unit has got a very good processor in it that will allow uh, that sort of seamless scrolling and very fast. 
even with just using buttons and not a touch screen, that uh, quick processing speed actually makes the unit quite easy to use and scroll around and navigate. So looking at the chart itself, when you move the cursor around, you can place the cursor over any of the chart objects like navigation markers and what you'll see is when the cursor is over it you'll get the red ring you can just press OK and then bring up chart info and then that will show you what it is you're looking at so in this case we're looking at uh, light it'll say it's flashing four seconds um, it's a white light so you can always bring up that sort of information if we also look at this chart, uh, you'll see anything with a, a plus next to it is a community edit. So when you place the uh, cursor over that and it goes red, hit OK. Same thing again, go to chart info and someone here has put in a community edit uh, telling that it's a, a good anchorage spot uh, with good views. Also uh, on this chart you'll notice the little camera icons which there's one there so when the, that goes red hit OK and this is a feature of the Navionics Platinum chart and these will be found under more options here you'll see photo and then that will bring up an aerial panoramic photo. These are great for giving better situational awareness of an anchorage so you can really um, understand the surroundings of the waterway that you're on. Raymarine Element also supports uh, Navionics advanced features such as Dr. Doc auto routing, Sonar Charts Live, advanced map options and Plotter Sync. So I'm just going to show you a couple of those functions now. First one I'm going to show you is um, Dr. Doc auto routing. So we want to navigate from the boat's current position to the position I now have uh, located on this chart. This is my destination and where I want to end up in this anchorage. From here, by hitting the OK button, uh, we can then go down to more options and auto route to here. So it's as simple as that. Uh, the unit is now going to calculate an auto route based on the parameters of the boat that I've already put in like uh, beam and depth and speed and now that's created a detailed route from uh, the boat's current position to the anchorage I want to go to. So now by hitting follow um, the boat is now following that route. If I zoom out a bit you can see this route and as I follow this route along you can see there the various waypoints in the route and uh, it's uh, detailed it quite well taking us on the right side of navigation markers uh, and so if we now look at the boat's current position it's now arrived at the first arrival waypoint which you now acknowledge and then it'll now move on to the next arrival waypoint so creating a doctor dock auto route is quite simple in this unit Sonar Charts Live is another feature of the element which means that you can create your own real-time high-density charts. What it does is take the uh, raw data off your transducer and then draws a new chart on your screen uh, and saves to the Navionics chart card. What we're looking at here is an area that has never had a survey. It's an inland dam. So as we can see, as we zoom in, there's absolutely no detail on that chart. Um, because there's never been a survey. So by going into Sonar Chart uh, Live, what we can do is we've run over this area and now created a new chart. So we go into the settings menu, then go to depths, and then we go to Sonar Chart Live and turn it on. The cool thing when you're in these menus is it actually shows you a preview of what's going on on the screen. So now when we go back to that screen, that's what we're looking at now. That previously uncharted area has now quite a detailed uh, map showing uh, all the underwater structure there. So looking at this here, you can see depth contours ranging between 6 and 13 metres. So in this case, uh, we found that fish were holding you know, between 6 and 7 metres. So what we can do is go into the menu and uh, go back to that, that settings menu for those depths and then we can uh, highlight a deep contour here by changing this here you'll see that now we start highlighting any depths under six meters so if we found fish were holding under six meters we'd highlight under six 
or 8 or 10 and you can see there as we uh, increase the, the depth level then it's shading out all those areas underneath that so that's what that chart looks like now in that it has now shaded all those depths under 12 meters um, so that you can uh, accurately identify the depths at with which fish are holding now with sonar chart live that saves on your chart card and when you go back to that spot uh, there's you have those charts forever in a day uh, there's no uploading or waiting to re-download and have them processed or anything like that it all does it in real time on your screen within the fishing mode which is uh, showing the Navionics sonar chart you can actually go in and change the density of the contours so if you're in an area that's got a lot of very steep banks sometimes the contours can stack up and, and appear quite dark so within the settings menu you can just go to uh, your settings menu again and then into depths and then you'll find in depths menu uh, the density here so you can see here you can change from very high to high and you can see there you know in the preview on the right hand side that it's uh, changing that density of the sonar charts so if we go back to that now you're seeing less contours so if I go now back and change that back to uh, very high again you will then see uh, more contours